What's up guys? Today is Tuesday, day after Labor Day. Happy Labor Day to my US folks. I want to make a video that talks about preparing yourself, if you're not a Vishla owner, of what to expect as far as their energy and how to exercise them. How much exercise do they need? Maybe you don't have a Vishla yet, you're thinking about it and you're worried about their energy levels. That's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna go over exercise, yards, toys, playing, sticks, yards, exercise, and more exercise because let's be honest, these dogs, they require a lot of it. Get yourself a bag, a throw bag, a go bag, anything that you can just throw your dog stuff in so that you're not looking for it when it's time to exercise them. Here's another tip. Um, bring water because they are going to get thirsty. And if they don't have a water source, like a stream or a river, you're going to have to bring your own. The longer you can exercise your dog, the more in shape they'll be, the healthier they'll be. You'll be able to get that energy out of them, which, as any Visha owner knows, can be quite the blessing. Go and get yourself one of these boys. Chuck it. They're incredible. That's actually the name of the brand. They also make uh, chuck it balls and stuff, which are pretty cool because they're a little bit heavier than your standard tennis ball. You don't have to bend down so often to pick up the ball, which is nice. This is a, a medium length chuck it right here. They also make really short ones and they also make an even longer one. So um, you could, I recommend getting either the medium or the longer one, depending on how much land you have. Do you live in an apartment? Yes. Can you get a Vishla? Yes. Is it gonna be as convenient as someone who has a house with a yard? Of course it's not gonna be as convenient, but it's not impossible. You can still do it. I did it, I've been doing it, I'm doing it right now. This is not my yard. This is, um, this is my mom's yard, but she's getting pretty old, so I actually come and I uh, do her yard work. So it's a house I grew up in. It's got a fantastic backyard here. I love to bring FIFA, do the yard work, and get her some exercise at the same time. So long story short, if you live in an apartment or if you live somewhere where you don't have a yard and you're thinking about getting a Vishta, I mean, don't get your hopes down. You're not gonna be able to walk outside and run your dog necessarily. But I mean, back in my old place, I would take FIFA, walk her to the field. It was about three blocks away. Take her to that field. Sometimes I'd drive like in the winter and I would just run her there. Um, if you watched some of my earlier videos with FIFA as a puppy, then you're gonna see me living in that apartment. FIFA and I, our routine is to wake up, go on a walk in the morning, I go to work, I come back, I take her on another walk right after work, and then around seven o'clock at night, I'll take her and I'll actually run her. We usually go either to a dog park, to a field, to my friend's property, which I'll show you here shortly. There, I'll run her for 45 minutes to an hour. That's when I'm bringing the chuck it, and I'm bringing the ball, and I'm bringing toys and sticks. She usually gets really hot in the summers, and so uh, we'll go for 15 minutes, and then she'll get really overheated. We'll hang out for five minutes, let her cool down, get some water, we'll hang, play for another 15 minutes. Same thing, break time. Another 15 minutes, break time. 15 more minutes. And, and then occasionally, late at night, I'll take her out again to go to the bathroom if uh, I feel like she wants to go out for the last time before we go to bed. So that's our exercise routine. Morning walk, um, afternoon walk, running hard, and then sometimes a nightly walk at the very end of the night as well. Another great thing to have is a friend with a farm. <laughs> so if you've watched any of my videos recently, you'll know that this is my friend's farm. And pretty cool is that uh, the alfalfa here just got cut. Now is the perfect time to run FIFA here. So it's short enough for us to actually come out and uh, run FIFA around without you know losing every single toy and ball that I own. This is when bringing your chuck it is gonna be a real good idea because of how much land we've got. Oh, hi. Hey. Bring some water for your dog. Bring a dog bowl. We talked about this last time. Uh, this one's nice. This one's also made by Roughware and it cinches up and it's super uh, compactable and everything. Bring some toys. FIFA loves this one in addition to her tennis ball. And then we have another ball here that she likes. Also, get some training in 
bring some treats. String cheese is one of FIFA's favorites. I also got a little uh, Bluetooth speaker, and of course, I got a couple cans of of the beer. So let's get going and let's run this dog a little bit. She's just waiting patiently. Get your mouth. What are you saying? Come here. Drop it. Good girl. Go to the end of this row and see if we can uh, sneak up on them. Very grateful for friends in my life who let me come on their property like this and have the whole field to myself. So I feel very lucky. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Good job, good job. Come on, let's go.